final module for this month is going to be the Migrate module. Here you can see I have the Migrate module's interface and the Directus instance I'm going to send it to. This is uh, my local instance and this is a remote cloud instance. As you can see here, there is no content, no collections available, but we have a collection available here. So I'm just going to quickly grab a static token uh, as the module requires a authorization token to interact with the client. Don't worry, I'll recycle this afterwards so that nobody can use it. Save that. Going to grab our domain for the client. Now we can run a check to see if it is compatible. And you'll see here that there, there is a difference. My local is running 11.4 and the remote is 11.51. We can force this through, I'm going to now, or we can use this as an opportunity to run any upgrades, etc., to make sure everything is line, especially if there is a major difference like version 10 or any of the larger schema changes internally. So we're going to force this and we don't want to copy over the users because I already have an admin user over in my remote. So we are now going to start the dry run and it's going to create a snapshot and create collection options. This may take a moment. We're also able to preview every one of the files created as part of the migration, all the individual components that make it up. Now to actually do the migration, we apply our key and our domain. We are once again gonna to have to force it through and we remove the dry run tag. This way it's not just building it and running locally, it is pushing up to the remote instance. So just to validate again, we don't have a collection here. I'm gonna start the migration process. And now we can see that the migration is complete, but it has skipped the users as we already have an admin user. Now if I reload the content, we will have our employee collection with me, the developer experience engineer, with all the relevant information internally. The only thing that's missing is this instance will now need to be configured with the correct extensions for it to operate as expected.